Hello and welcome to the Business Management Cooperative Work Experience class, BA 280. My name is Darren Bell. Um, I'm going to be walking you through the requirements for the class this term. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to look through the getting started module here right on the front page. There's going to be one main thing you're going to need to do from the very beginning of the course. You're going to need to print out and complete the course outcomes and work agreement and that you need to have your supervisor sign and uh, this is something you can do with your supervisor. So the idea, I guess the first thing here, right, we're going to fill out the form uh, for most students, you're just going to need a couple of learning outcomes that you're going to put on here. So uh, first question I usually get is, what kind of work experience can I get for this uh, specific course? Well, it can be an existing job, it can be a, it can be a new job, it can be paid, it can be non-paid. Um, if you do have an entrepreneurial venture or a family business that you're working at, uh, that can work as well. The main thing that you need is you need a supervisor or a mentor that can sign off on this paperwork. Okay, So that's going to be it. If you have any specific questions on that, contact me. Uh, that's going to be something you need to do at the beginning of the course is schedule a time to talk to me. You can meet with me live in person during my office hours. We can set up a Zoom meeting or you can call and we can talk over the phone. So we can definitely do that. Uh, send me an email and we can get something arranged. Next thing you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to, as you fill out this form, you're gonna need to create some learning objectives. So what does that mean? That's kind of education talk. What that is, is you're gonna basically set a goal of something you're gonna learn new from this experience. So if you're in an existing job, you're gonna talk to your supervisor and say, hey, uh, what am I gonna be learning through this experience in the next uh, month or two. Are there any uh, projects, new projects that I can do? Uh, or are there any existing things that I'm gonna be learning as part of my existing job? What we're really looking forward to here is we're looking for you to grow and learn and do some new things. So for a new job, that's gonna be probably pretty easy. You're gonna find a lot of things in the new job that you're gonna be doing. If you're doing volunteer things and not paid, then that's that can be projects. Job shadowing can maybe count for this, but a lot of it's gonna be learning through job shadowing, right? We're not just gonna be sitting there, we're gonna be actively learning about processes and and things uh, about the business. And, and I mean, business is wide open, so you can do things in the finance, accounting side, you can definitely do things with marketing, uh, technology like social media, um, any of the new systems that you're learning with technology. It can be something along uh, human resources. Um, I mean, just any part of business operations, of course, it could be anything along those lines. Something new you're going to learn with this course. One of the things you're going to have to fill out is how many credits you're taking. So each credit is going to be worth. 36 hours of work during this term. Typically students, the requirement typically for a degree is at least two credits. So that means 72 hours of work on these learning outcomes. You can take more or less. You can kind of uh, spread your two out over two terms, or you can take more if you want to get more experience and have, uh, if you need more credits for the term. That's designated by uh, the course you sign up for, so it's BA280, BA280, and then that last little section is going to tell you how many credits you're signing up for. Beginning of the course, figure out a time when we can talk, uh, fill out the paperwork, right? have your supervisor sign it, submit it up into Canvas, and then I will take a look at it and I'll mark it as completed. So you don't need my signature necessarily on this hard copy to begin with. Everything's going to be done through Canvas. There's three things you need to do by the end of the term, okay, by the end of your experience. One is going to be doing the, one thing is going to be doing a timesheet. So here's the form for the timesheets. The timesheet is not necessarily a copy of your official time that you're paid for for the job, but it's going to be uh, this form you're going to fill out and have supervisor signature on it. And it's just basically a record of how much time did I spend per week during the term. If you're doing summer term, uh, it's going to be eight weeks, right, for the summer term. If you, you can possibly get the hours in early and be done early. So that is possible as well. Okay, so that you need to get done by the end of the term. Okay, another one that you're going to need to get done by the end of the term is going to be 
the learning outcomes and work evaluation. So that's a form that you're going to uh, take and fill out and have your supervisor uh, fill out and sign as well. So that's the evaluation form um, at the end of the term, at the end of your experience. So you're going to fill this part out uh, and, so, and have your supervisor sign it. Your supervisor is really in charge of that one. And then the last thing you're going to want to do, you're going to need to do a term paper. So that's one of the four assignments to submit. So at the beginning, your agreement. At the end, you're going to do your evaluation, your timesheet, and then your term paper. It kind of gives a little bit of credits or a little bit of kind of an outline. If you're a one to two credit student, you're going to be three pages is what's going to be normal for that. Uh, three credits may be another page. If you're going to do more than three credits, then you're going to have uh, more pages there. Really, I want a good write-up detailed write-up of what you did for your work experience. This is for you to report out, say this is what I did, this is what I learned, and so that's going to be one of the three things you're going to submit at the end. The evaluation, the, the timesheet, and then the term paper. Um, and so, so four things in total, one at the beginning, three at the end. Something also to know is uh, make sure your supervisor or mentor information is good on here. I will reach out during the term. I'm going to reach out to them during the term just to thank them for working with you and answer any questions that they may have. Um, I like to reach out to all the supervisors to make sure all those um, are thanked and all the bases are covered. So that's going to be the work experience for this term. And so right at the get-go here, Send me an email. Let me know uh, when maybe a good time for you is uh, to meet before the term and we can have that initial discussion to get you going. Thank you. Talk to you later. Bye.